batteries. They're everywhere. They're an indispensable part of our modern life. In fact, the phone that you may be watching this on is running on a battery. But how often do you really stop and think about these tiny things that power our devices? The most common sizes you'll find at the store are AAA, AA, C, D, 9 volt, and if you're lucky you'll find quadruple A's and N batteries. At some point maybe you wondered why aren't there any B batteries, or for that matter, A batteries? There's even a famous joke routine about it. But what if I told you, not only did B batteries exist, but I can show you what one looks like, as well as show you an A battery. But first, a history lesson. Originally, there were six sizes of batteries. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Eventually, number eight was also added. Unfortunately, not only was I unable to obtain a number seven battery, but I can't find any evidence that it ever existed, nor any explanation of what even happened to it. Most were renamed. Number one became an A. Number two became B. Number 3 became C, number 4 became D, number 5 became F. The only one of those to retain its old name was the gargantuan behemoth number 6. E batteries are now simply known as 9 volt batteries. 9 volt batteries were at one time known as power pack batteries. They came in 9 different sizes. The ones familiar to us are power pack 3. There are also cylindrical B and E batteries, but those are far less common. Later, other battery sizes develop the sub C between a B and a C, the double A, called so to designate it was smaller than the A, the triple A, and the quadruple A. Other sizes such as G, J, K, and N also emerged. There is also the Super F, which is a wider version of the F. Eventually, the AA filled the role of the A battery, rendering it nearly obsolete. Only a few companies still produce A batteries nowadays, one being Titus. There are also double D batteries, but they are very hard to find. Luckily, I was able to obtain a used one to show what they look like. There are also double C batteries. There are also sizes such as one half double A, one half A, four thirds A, one third N, one half C, and so on. You can even find B batteries in Europe still as part of a 4.5 volt 3LR 12 battery pack for lanterns. Inside you'll find three B batteries. On that note, six volt batteries actually contain four D batteries or F batteries, and nine volt batteries contain four quadruple A batteries with reversed polarity. You may also notice sizes like the 123 when you buy batteries, which is about a two-third A in size. And there's also button batteries, commonly called watch batteries, although many other uses for them can be found. Many times, unusual battery sizes that used to be easy to find are now only available online or at specialty shops. Even many battery specialists have never seen A or B batteries. The best place to get A and B batteries are online auction sites, real world auction houses, or antique stores. Same with number 6 batteries. The other numbers from before batteries were designated letter names will be even harder to find. Some of the higher voltage dry cell batteries actually contain a group of button batteries inside. Many button batteries have much more complex names that you have to memorize. A few of the earliest ones had simple names like H, I, one third N, and so on. I'm sure you're thinking, yeah, that's nice and all, but what about the B battery you promised you'd show me? Okay, here you go. Okay, this is a B battery. It's 22.5 volts. It looks a little bit like a 9-volt battery, except 
the terminals are on the top and bottom instead of both on the top. So now you can say you've seen a B battery. And with that, I really hope you enjoyed learning something and feel free to check out these other videos. I think you'll find them both fascinating.